Kamen Rider x Aid has become my favorite Kamen Rider since it first aired in 2016. And aside from some really cool collabs, it was one of the best parts of that year. Yep, even better than my, what, fourth comeback? Either way, because x Aid's my favorite Kamen Rider now, forgive me my son, I figured I'd analyze Kamen Rider x Aid's openings. Yes, I said open names. x Aid has some major differences between its first opening and the opening at the halfway point. Also, yes, I am aware that Marco Satsu did a video like this before, however, I feel like he missed a ton of things, especially considering the last third of both openings, along with the cinematography, and I'm here to point them out! Not everything exists just to look cool. Also, spoilers abound, so, yee. So with that said, let's begin! The very first part of the opening doesn't have any lyrics aside from some undertones of I Gotta Believe, as we see x aid land on the ground in his usual superhero landing pose, with various X-ray lines in the background possibly referencing how gaming heroes like x aid and Death Doctors deal with every day aren't so different from each other. When we see Mighty Action X fly into Emu's hand, we see that he hesitates before he pulls it close to his chest possibly referring to how Emu feels uncertainty in this mission that he put himself through, as he doesn't know what he's getting into. The next scene shows both Asuna outside of the monitor, showing that the human Asuna is more preferred than the bugster and potentially locked, or captive side, Poppy Pupo Popo. This could be referencing how most of the time for the first half of the season, Poppy is disguised as Asuna, and most people that come into contact with Poppy at her time are stressed out, albeit not on purpose. These next two scenes reference Emu's multiple personality disorder. As Daichi sings Why 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 Why, with the next scene showing quick snippets of the Bugster virus, showing the consequence of a Bugster stressing out the host too much. The host would vanish and the Bugster would be complete. We also see Emu walk by and look at a computer monitor housing another Emu facing the opposite direction, as that Emu smirks. The Emu smirking is clearly Genius Gamer M showing the dual personalities between Emu and M. We see Hiro, Taiga, and Kiria all walking in the opposite direction facing away from the audience, whereas Emu walked towards the camera. This shows that Emu's optimistic, bright outlook is different from the other riders, who have seen their loved ones die, or their friends die or watch everything they work for crumble due to failing. We see them mugged to the camera as well as a certain Kuroto Dan who isn't holding up a gash at at all. Hmm. Plus when the anti-hero Taiga and Hiro begin their transformations, we see Kuroto turn away. Hmm. Obviously this references how Kuroto is actually Gem. After we see Poppy mugged towards the more protagonist writers highlighting the stronger bonds Emu has with both Kiria and Poppy, we see the riders go from level 1 to level 2. We see x aid leap up into the air, hinting at how Mighty Action X is a platforming game. We see x aid Brave, and Snipe fight each other, hinting at how strained the team dynamic between Emu Hero and Taiga are. After we see Emu ride on laser with their respectively orange and blue eyes shine, we see Emu look to the left and Parad look right, or vice versa depending on your perspective hinting at a connection these two have with each other. After we see our four protagonists mugged at the camera, we see Gem with a similar background the other four had before. This makes sense because all of the writers shown here are at the same level, meaning they're on common ground. This'll come up later, like most things. After Gem and x aid trade blows, we see x aid look at various memories Emu has as he transforms into x aid and does some poses for the camera. I love how Kamen Rider openings can show character through the cinematography of these openings. When I find these, I always like thinking about what do these scenes mean in relation with the show. However, luckily for me, x got a second opening with updated cinematography. The beginning with x without any real lyrics is the same, skip it. When Emu grabs Mighty Action X is where we notice our first major difference. Instead of hesitating, Emu immediately pulls it close to his chest meaning that he's grown into the role of x aid and ensures that he'll see it through to the end. Which says a lot for Emu's character, as in the show he goes through a crap ton of shit. We see the Asuna slash Poppy scene, but this time Poppy is on the outside and is angered, with Asuna being trapped in the monitor. 
This not only shows the result of episode 24, where Papu was brainwashed by Lavrika to work with the Bucksters, and after Emu brought her back to CR, Poppy's still on the outside with a brighter outlook with Asuna looking fondly at the display, showing that now, there's no real difference between Poppy and Asuna. Plus, at this point, most of the time, Poppy is herself, no Asuna skin for the most part. Instead of the scene of Emu disappearing, since now he knows of his game disease, all of the Doctor Graphs turn into games that either came from Gem Corporation, or ones that he created like the Mighty sequels. He sends them off while smirking, similar to Parado spreading the Bugster virus. Hmm. Instead of Emu looking at a monitor of M, we see Hiro looking at a monitor of Saki disappearing, which shifts to Taiga looking at a monitor of him losing the Graphite. These scenes are similar to each other because they're intertwined. As one of the larger focuses of, for the next 20 episodes are having to do with Saki's disappearance before the show started. After we see Emu smirk, we see a ride player. And seeing as how this was Genius Gamer M smirking, a case could be made that the ride player here is Nico. Seeing as how she based her gaming name, Genius Gamer N, off of M. We see Emu walk towards the camera with Hiro and Taiga walking away from it. Aside from Kyria not being there anymore due to a Christmas special, one thing to note is the people in the background. They were there in the first opening, but all they could symbolize was how the Bugster threat was unknown to the public and only a select few people could know about it. However, this opening happens after episode 13. Right now, everybody knows about the Bugster virus, and Kamen Rider Chronicles started where people can become Kamen Riders in order to fight them so the people this time turn into ride players. We see that Laser and Gem are both gone because at this point they're both dead, and we see Nico get added to her own screen, as now she'll be joining in the actual fighting as ride player Nico. Another thing that I want to note that I glanced over originally is that instead of the riders facing each other, now X-Aid, Brave, Snipe, Paradox, Poppy, and ride player Nico are all facing outwards, meaning that sooner or later, they'll all be facing the same threat. What else is cool about this scene is that instead of x Brave, and Snipe fighting each other, we now see their upgrade and super forms in action. This is showing how, at this point, the three of them have achieved a well-working camaraderie. Now when we see who x Brave, Snipe, and Bike Gamer, or maybe it's a hint that Laser will return, are going against, we see both Paradox Level 99 and Kronos who in the beginning are either shadowed so we don't see it in the opening, or with the green background. This could be due to how much stronger level 99 and a no level rider can be compared to 4 to 3 level 2s. The thing I love about Kamen Rider openings is the cinematography, as they can convey the plot points of a story, and I enjoy looking at the pieces. God, I just love x so much! It's so anime! It's awesome! 